able to welcome anyone back this No, uh, Josh Bowler's getting close. Um, he's been on the pitch with the with fitness coaches, so he's he's, he's looking better. Um, Herbie's probably still a couple of weeks away. Uh, same as Reese, same as Jordy, um, same as John Terrell. Um, so just Josh Bowler probably closer than than everyone I would say. Do you think he's got a chance for Charlton, perhaps? Or? Uh, maybe, maybe if we can get him on the pitch next week. Um, then he will, but he's been out for a bit of a time now, so he's going to need he's going to need some some conditioning work to get him get him up to speed. Just checking Angus McDonald, you've said all along the one twenty three is getting through. Is that tomorrow? Or? I've been really pleased. I've been really pleased with Angus. Unfortunately, the game got called off last week right. because of a waterlogged pitch, and he was he was gutted really. Um, and he's he's had at least three weeks now, maybe longer with us on on the on the pitch. So he's in he's in a good place. He's looking forward to the game tomorrow. Um, he'll play. He'll play some part in the game tomorrow, as will one or two others, just to keep their match fitness up and ready, and for, for when they're called upon. How significant a step is that for Angus? Massive. It's great. You know the fact where where he was three four months ago, and for 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 to be where he is today. You know he's looking great every day. He trains. He he puts everything in. Um, and he's an inspiration for everyone, really. You know, just the, the fact that he's come through what he's come through, and now he's going to be playing his first game in well over a year. You know, it's a it's a it's a credit to him for the for the way he's bounced back. Is it a case of sort of easing him in maybe forty five minutes and sixty? Yeah, he'll he'll play forty five minutes tomorrow. Um, so it's important that, that we ease him in and we don't don't try and go overboard on him too soon. So um, it'll be good fun. Um, question I didn't. Asking, but, um, a number of sporting clubs have taken steps of, with, to deal with coronavirus. And have, have you done anything here? Yeah, the, well, there's a lot of signs going up, going up and around the training ground about washing your hands for for longer than usual, um, which uh, which I'm sure everyone's seen. Um, but nothing, nothing over the top, really. I don't think we've we've we're just making sure everyone stays hygienic and, and washes their hands after they touch something. Big game Saturday. How are the players coping? They're good. They're in a good place. Um, we've had a really good week. We've mixed the week up a little bit. We've trained at a different venue. Um, early part of the week, which was good for them to get them all together and, and do some different stuff with them. Um, we all come back in here today together. Um, so it's been a really positive week. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to the game. Why did you feel the need to change it up? Was it St George's Park? Yeah, we, we brought them there just to just something different really for them um, we did a couple of different things there and different tasks and it was good it was a good week it was it was a good opportunity for do that to do that with with 10 games to go um, and we're only looking forward you know we're, we're only looking uh, to be as positive as we can what's gone is gone what's done is dusted um, we, we we appreciate that we haven't been in a good run of form um, in fact it's been horrendous so but it's gone it's done We'll look forward and and we'll we'll approach every single one of these games how we want to approach them, how we play, our style of play, um, and see where we go. Does it change the scenery as much as anything, just because it can be a bit suffocating maybe when you're in the same place? Yeah, I mean, psychologically, it's it's nice sometimes, nice to 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 take the group and do something different. Um, so you know, I'm, I'm really thankful that the club let us do that and, and go away for a couple of days because these things aren't cheap, you know. So it was it was really good for them to, to help us out on that, um, and the boys really enjoyed it. You know, we we got a it was a bit of fun really for the boys in the first day, and you know we we, we got back to work on the Tuesday. Um, can you fill us in on what the, the fun was on the Monday? Or? No, we'll keep that to ourselves. I mean, it's just to, yeah, just little bits and pieces that we did around the around the hotel. So. It was good because you know when you go to somewhere like that, there's there's always different. There was a pro license on at the time as well, and there was a load of different people that you can lend an ear and speak to, and um, you know you, you, you end up learning a little bit as well, which is good. In a season that was all about aiming for the top six, do you think the predicament you're in now has come as a, almost like as a surprise to the, to the players? Well, no. I mean, if, I think if you look at our season in a whole, um, I think you've seen our style of play come out. In, in the terms of the way we want to play, you know, right up until a certain point, in my opinion, we're one of the best teams in the league. Um, unfortunately, circumstances have happened that that everyone knows about, um, and, and we've gone on a bit of a dodgy run. So, we know we are a good team. We know we've got good players in the building. We know we can we can hurt teams in this league, um, and it's about getting back to that and remembering that. You know, it's very easy to look back at the last 
nine, ten games and go, oh, this is Hull now, this is what you do. You know, why does that have to be your destiny? You now, why can't we look back at the good results, the good wins, the uh, the big, the big, the big games that we played and where, where we had everyone performing? Um, and that's what we need to do, you know. And, and hopefully that starts on Saturday. Do you think the players understand what's at stake in these last ten games? Have you had to drum it up? To you? Um, yes, I mean, like I've said all season, every game's important. Um, you know, it's not just Saturday or the week after the week. Everyone, every single one is important. Um, and it's it, you know, ten games to go. My message to the players is, how many can we win? You know, I know people might think, well, well, on you haven't won for ten games, but like I said, yeah, that's gone. We're focusing on the next game now, which is Stoke. It's going to be a tough game, as it always is there. Um, but we feel confident and in a good place that we can go and put a really good, uh, really good performance on. There's a lot of young lads here, and the pressures will be on in these last ten games. Do you, do you feel confident they'll take it on the shoulders? Yeah, I think so. I think they've got, you know, they've been thrown into the lion's den a little bit over over recent weeks, and um, they've put in some really good performances. You know, all right, the results haven't been there, but individually, some of them put in, some put in very uh, some very good performances, and it's going to hold them in good stead for the future. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing them play again. Without wishing to put too much emphasis on this game, is this the biggest so far of the season? Every game's big. Every game's big, and, and and people will jump. People will dress it up and look at it and go, oh, it's massive. It's a six pointer. It's things like that. It's just like we don't look at it like that. It's the next game. It's the next game we want to go and perform and try and get a result. Because it's a, a big weekend down there as well, isn't there? A lot of teams towards the bottom end of the table playing on the. Yeah, I think you see. I think that's that will be the case for for the rest of the season. A lot of people play each other, um, and we're no different, you know. So. We want to make sure we, we put a good performance in the weekend, first and foremost. Do these moments when, I think you said last week that there's a lot of negativity swirling around the place, do these moments test you as a, a head coach more than any other? Yeah, of course. Um, but, like I said to you, all I can do is affect the team and try and affect their performance and f put a bit of confidence into them and, and remind them of good performances and how good they are as players. and. Um, you know that's all I can do, and, and, and you know once they go under that white line, then they have to perform and deliver. Um, but we've been working hard this week, you know, to try and get everybody focused, ready um, for, the, for 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 Saturday. Because a lot falls on your shoulders as an individual, doesn't it, as the figurehead of this? Yeah, of course, everything will fall on my shoulders. That's that's the that's the job as a manager or a head coach of a football club. Um, everyone will point to you. You know, I'm I'm that, that's the way it is. And, and that's a, the responsibility you, you, you put yourself in, which I'm fine with, no problem. It's it, like I said to you before, I'm okay with that. Um, but I know what I'm about. I know that when I get my team playing and delivering and playing the way I want to play, then they can be successful. Um, I think you can see that last year in my team at Doncaster. You can see that right up to a certain point, probably 56 days ago, where we were one of the best teams in the league, um, in my opinion. Um, and so we all look to get back to that, you know. And it's um, the experience these young boys are are getting this, at this present time. You know, I'm, I'm really, really excited for the future of this football club with them. Like I've always said to you, just because we've lost some games it recently doesn't mean we rip the playbook up and do something different that we haven't done all season. We're very, very focused on making sure we deliver a good performance. Is it hard to look at the future when you can think about long-term plans, but? Ultimately, you have to get through this first, don't you? Of course you do, yeah. Of course, that's... Uh, but, you know, all we can focus on is Saturday. You know, all the rest of the games will, will take care of itself. And um, hopefully the week we've had, the confidence that the players have been put into them this week, they can go and put a good performance on. You spoke about the owners and funding this thing this week. Do you, do you still feel like you've got the full backing of the owners? In terms 100%. 100%. And um, I didn't think anything differently. So I'll let, I'll let everybody else voice their opinions on that, which there always seems to be a lot of opinions. Um, but I'm only focused on one one thing, and that's doing well for this football club and as well as I can for these players. Because there's a lot of noise, isn't there? The inevitable. Of course there is, yeah, of course there is. But I'm only focused on, on helping the football club and, and, and implementing a style that we've probably shown for large parts this season. Um, 
maybe we've gone away from things. Maybe we haven't done it as well as we we have previously. Well, we haven't because we've obviously lost the games that we have. Um, but we need to get back to it. What would the value of just one win be just to inflate everything again? It would be huge. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it'd be it'd be just be good to lift lift the mood around the place really like I've said to you all along we, we all don't get too down or too high we're very much in the middle and uh, win, lose or draw um, but nobody likes to get hit and hit and hit and hit like we have um, on a lot of different aspects um, but we need to we need to just stick together and find a way and I've no doubt this group of players are really hungry for for that for that next win